The feedback I've gotten from patients so far is that they appreciate being at home. Um, they're able to work these medications into their daily lives and they don't feel like um, their diagnosis is now taking over their life. Um, a lot of these patients, um, unfortunately, we've had some younger patients recently. Um, and so when you think about having a younger patient that has family members at home or children and, and really just being able to, con to continue living your life um, or living their life, I think is very important to them. Um, the quality of life with these medications is something that when I'm doing education with patients, I focus on. Um, we do know that there are side effects. We talk about the lab, the lab uh, parameter monitoring that we need to do. Um, we talk about how to get the medication, how to take the medication, and ways to help minimize side effects so that patients um, feel empowered while they're at home to be able to manage side effects and not just um, feel like they have to call the office for everything. In terms of continuous dosing, I think this is a benefit for um, the abomaciclib in that it's easier for patients to remember to take. Um, thinking about an every a three week on, one week off schedule, plus uh, potentially continuous AI. Um, you have two different things that you have to remember um, and two different things that you have to manage on top of whatever other medications you may or may not be taking at home. Um, so I really focus with patients on the best way, if they are gonna be on the three on, one off schedule, the best way to fit that into their lifestyles. Um, so of course, we want patients to start medication as soon as they receive it. Um, but I tell patients if, you know, remembering to start and stop on a Tuesday is not going to work for you, then let's wait until Saturday or let's wait until Sunday or Monday or whatever is going to work best for your lifestyle that we're able to keep you on therapy and have you remember to take drug, which is the most important thing. Um, same thing with an evening um, and a morning versus an evening schedule, really focusing on what's going to be the easiest for the patient. Um, and so I spend a lot of time in my education sessions talking through with patients how to fit these medications into their lifestyles. Um, the continuous dosing is a little bit easier because it's just take it every day um, versus trying to work through with patients of when they're going to get their medication and, and how they're going to remember to take it. Um, the other issue that we run into with, with all of these medications, though, is delays from a specialty pharmacy. Um, so if it's a three week on, one week off or a continuous, if they don't have drug to take, they can't take drug. Um, and so really making sure patients understand that they have to call in a certain amount of time for refills, they have to give that lead time and working with um, either the specialty pharmacy or in-house pharmacy, whatever it may be, to really be able to um, have patients get their medication and be able to take it.